Hello, my dandelions and dapplings. Whoo! It feels good to say that again. It has been so long, mon amis. Yes, it's October 1st, and I, I wanted to get this video out today. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's Halloween time, my friends. <laughs> you may have noticed that my hair has drastically changed colour as well. I'm not even going to pretend I did it for any other reason then because I'm too addicted to Grindledore. Literally spent the summer thinking about Albus Dumbledore's sex life. <sighs> Trying to get a wig for Gellert is like impossible, so I was like, <laughs> I'll just bleach my hair. <laughs> hey ho. <sighs> hmm, what am I saying? Here comes Morbid Jack with more morbid thoughts. Autumn teaches us the importance of impermanence. Instead of nature just throwing us from the heat and joy of summer straight into the depths of winter, it gifts us with autumn to show how impermanence can be a beautiful thing and we can find, we can find comfort in it. We shouldn't ever become too stuck in one place. We shouldn't ever allow ourselves to become addicted to the quagmire of content because the seasons change every year and so should we too but it's often fear and anxiety and the thought of what other people are going to say that holds us back and yes you could make terrible mistakes you could impermanence isn't something to fear permanence is something to be afraid of if everything lasted forever there would be no beauty in it it's like how someone learning piano, if they had all the time in the world, they could master the piano, and then what? It's because of the impermanence that we have that passion to drive us forward to master the piano. The, 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 the pianist keeps striving because he knows that he's on the clock. And he might not ever become a grand maestro on the piano, but it's the playing which is the point not the perfection. I know that all of us have had to make pretty tough choices this year and some of us didn't even get a chance to make them. Choices and decisions were forced upon us, thrust upon us, and that's not fair. Yes, you might be going into the autumn or the winter cycle in your own life right now, but then spring and summer will always return. There will always be goodness that comes after the winter. Oh no. Oh damn, my battery's flashing. Oh dear, right. One moment, please. <sighs> okay, we're back, okay. <laughs> Camera behave, really. I realize I'm a huge advocate for like, tell the person today that you like them and go and do that road trip and apply for that job because I, Carpe Diem is, is, a, is a wonderful ethos to live by. But now I'm reasonably unemployed <laughs> and so, whew, panic. Hmm. And so I'm going to be focusing a lot more on YouTube because creativity is the key to staying calm and constant. Um, I'd be in a much worse position if it wasn't for my incredible patrons and for you guys for just commenting and sticking around and keeping me going. And I'm excited because later on we're, uh, we're filming a Wolfstar video because on the James and Sirius one, loads of you were like, but would you do Wolfstar? And I'm like, of course, of course I'll do Wolfstar. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for sticking around. I hope that there was some sort of message in there, maybe. I'm hopefully gonna create, ah, oh, my shoulder. I'm just falling apart. <sighs> Hopefully I'm going to create some more content very, very soon because I'm feeling, because autumn is ushering in the inspiration, which is amazing. Until next time, guys, stay spooky. <laughs> stay magical. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.